this is Tamsin from Vintage Tea in the UK. Um, I'm going to be experimenting with some flip cup pours. Um, I'm going to use different colours on each one. Um, these are old canvases that I scrapped, um, didn't turn out too well. Um, so I'm going to just test out on this. Oh, I'll put a bit too much flow troll in that. So I'm just going to mix up some white. Um, so this is whitening from Unicorn Spit. So this is the regular spit, so brand new bottle. Um, just take the lid off that. Squeeze them into here. So I did have a little bit already mixed in this cup. I've just topped it up. So um, you only need to mix Flow Troll with Unicorn Spit um, to four parts Flow Troll. Um, and one part unicorn spit. Oh, I should need a big cup of this. A big Dixie cup. Just pour this in. So I've got plenty of white. Um, so if I don't use this now, I can put it in a, t in a tub to save for later. Uh, it's difficult mixing white because uh, <laughs> obviously flow troll is white as well but just give it a really 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 good stir okay and that's the kind of consistency that you want where it's kind of slowly running off your spatula settling on the top and then flattening out quite quickly okay so I'm gonna be using a lot of white um, in these pores so I think on this canvas I'm gonna do pinks and purples maybe with a little bit of gold going through um, and then on this canvas we're gonna do blues and turquoises um, yeah okay so let's start off with white in both. Okay. Right, so pinks and purples on this one. So we'll start off with um, Purple Hill Majesty, which is regular purple. Just kind of drizzle it in. And we'll go with the Pixie Punk Pink, which is the again the regular unicorn spit. Um, then I'm going to add some um, Violet Vulture, which is the purple sparkling. It doesn't really matter how you uh, pour these in because we're going to give it a, a little bit of a, a stir before we pour. Um, then this one is Michelle's um, Artistic Vivations range. So that's um, products that she brews at home in her big spaghetti pots um, and then sells it to test it out, refines the formula. Um, so this is called Cupid, which is a metallic pink, which is my all-time favourite um, of all the metallics. Um, right, then we'll get some uh, the rest of that violet vulture in. Um, actually, no, I'll put some more white in. Let's have some white. Just to kind of separate the colours a bit and then we'll do the same so purple 
Your Majesty. Punk pink. And the last bit of um, the Violet Vulture sparkling. Now, the um, thing to remember with the sparkling is when you mix it with flow troll, um, it does look cloudy but it won't dry that way so you can kind of see there it's a very it's a lot lighter than the purple hill majesty but when it dries um the flow troll dries clear so all you're left with is that let's try and get as much as i can out there don't like wasting my products um and then finish off with a little bit of metallic too much because the metallic is really really vibrant and then top it off with a little bit of white okay right i'll leave that to settle while we mix our blues and turquoises so um i've got some stuff here that i mixed earlier um and I keep it in my unicorn spit bottle. So when I, when I get quite low on product, um, I just top it up with flow troll and then it's ready mixed. Um, so we'll start off with some lavish lovebirds, which is the um, sparkling green. Then let's try Zia teal or Zia turquoise. Sorry, um, I've only got a little bit of that left, so I'll save the rest. Then Navajo Jaw. There's not a lot left in there, is it? I've been experimenting all afternoon, so I'm uh, coming to the end of my uh, mixtures for the day add a little bit of that because I think the greens and the and the turquoise will be quite enough um, and then this is the um, sapphire swift blue sparkling again um, it looks cloudier than it actually will be when it finishes off um, and let's add some more whitening So I use this colour combination um, in my ocean pores. Um, I find that the colours work really, really well together. Um, right, so a bit more of the sparkling green. So it's lavish lovebirds. And the last bit of Zia. Well, very last few drops of my Navajo, Navajo Jewel. Um, so the great thing about unicorn spit is um, it how already has essential oils in it, which gives it that lovely jasmine scent. Um, so you don't have to add any silicone to your pores to get cells. Of course you can. You can add them if you want lots of cells, but I'm uh, I don't tend to add them. The last of the sapphire. Swift, and then I'll top it up with the whitening. Okay, so 
this is what it looks like when it's all layered up um, so white is actually a heavier color um, so it naturally sinks to the bottom so what I'm going to do with these um, is I'm actually going to um, just mix it slightly but not as in stir but I literally put in my spatula and I come across and then I do the same again and it just gives it that bit of an extra kind of mix and then the same again so across and across okay so I'm going to do flip cup so what I tend to do is um, turn the canvas like that and the great thing about having these see-through ones is you can see what's happening okay so let's let the colors sink out a little bit Now, because I pulled the white in first, that's the last colour that should come out, which will kind of pull in the middle and then we'll manipulate it. I think oh, I've put far too much product on here, but I'd rather have more than I need than less. There's nothing worse than trying to stretch it to cover all your canvas. Okay, right. Let's try a pink first. Ooh. Way. Yeah, loads of product. sit for a bit far too much product what a waste ah but it's not a waste so you'll see that i've got this um my baking tray on a silicone mat so it catches all all the leftover product and then when those dry i peel them off and i use the skins to make jewelry so you'll always just see some cells that are popping up but i'm gonna um get my trusty blowtorch and see if I can manipulate a few more to come up. So you got some of the metallic pink popping up through there. Okay, right, no time for that. I'm going to change my gloves because I've got a lot of product that's left over. Two sets. Um, unicorn spit is non-toxic, so um, you don't have to wear gloves. I just do because it saves me having to wash my hands more often, especially when doing different colours. Right. Try this, I'm going to move this around a little bit. Whoa. Oh wow. That I'm loving already. Far too much product, so I'm going to lose a lot of this. I didn't check my chart before I started. Colour size cup I should use. Already this is turning out a lot better and you can see 
the cells that are popping up already. Right, okay, let's get the blow torch on that. Careful not to stay in place for too long because it heats up the acrylic. Not the acrylic, the flow troll um, and can burn it. But oh, just look at that. It's like glass. I'm loving the pink metallic that's coming through here as well. So I think lesson for this one is <laughs> not an, not as much product needed for these small canvases, um, but the colours work really well, especially on this one. Um, I think with this one, I've lost a lot of the purple, um, again, just because the products pushed it off, but I'm really pleased with those. And hopefully they will look good when they're dry, so open sides a bit, make sure that we've covered all of the canvas. And you can actually pick up some of the run off from the canvas just to kind of finish off the sides excuse my head I'll do. right i'll leave those and i'm really really excited about the runoff i've got here as well in fact i'm just going to move these out of the way because what i can do because of these are silicone baking mats, they um, they can take heat. So I'm gonna encourage some cells to come from them. Run off. And then this will just dry brilliantly. And then when it's dried, I peel it off and then make jewellery out of it. Cool. All right, so these are my finished pieces the, with the, so with this one, we've got Lavish Lovebirds, Navajo Jewel, Zia, which is the turquoise, and Sapphire Swift, which is the blue sparkling. And then on the pinky purpley one, I've used Purple Hill Majesty and Pixie Punk Pink, which is the regular spit. I then used some Violet Vulture, which is the sparkling purple and some are Cupid, which is the metallic hot pink from Michelle's Artistic Vivations. So, that was quite cool. And again, you can see the amount of cells that you, that you get, especially in this blue one. Um, and no silicone.